Hello, welcome to City Hall this week. The city's budget for the next fiscal year is now in place. The City Council approved the $404.9 million spending plan during its June 20th meeting. The budget includes a tax rate increase that puts the rate at 56.07 cents per $100 of assessed value, an amount that would generate a tax bill of $1,005.32 on a house valued at $179,000, which is the median in house value for the city. The tax increase will help to fund priorities such as public safety, affordable housing, and capital improvements. The budget also sets the city's minimum livable wage for full-time workers to a minimum of $15 per hour. More details on the full budget can be found on the city's website. Durham will continue its partnership with the Go Triangle Regional Information Center. The City Council approved a two-year agreement with Cary, Chapel Hill, Raleigh, and Go Triangle in support of the Information Center. The center is a cooperative effort that allows anyone to make one call for information on public transportation and ride-sharing services throughout the Triangle. It allows for greater hours of phone coverage, better training of customer information associates, and clearer communication with customers. The Duke Belt Line Trail is one step closer to becoming a reality. The city will spend $297,000 for the development of the trail's master plan. The 2.2-mile bicycle and pedestrian trail will be built on the location of a rail corridor that's no longer in use. It's expected to serve as a connection between downtown and neighborhoods to the north and east. The trail's master plan is being developed with funding made possible by a $222,000 grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation. The city will pay a $75,000 local match for the grant. Environmental educators interested in participating in a workshop series just for them should mark their calendars now. The city and county will be offering the workshops to teachers and informal educators, such as park rangers and scout leaders, July 18th through the 21st. Participants will learn how to use hands-on activities and topics ranging from the water cycle to forest ecosystems to the value of wetlands. The workshops will be held at the North Durham Water Reclamation Facility and the fee is $50 for all four days. Educators can can earn continuing education and environmental education certification credits. The deadline to register is July 6th. For more information, visit the city's website. If you have any old tires lying around, here's your chance to get rid of them. A tire recycling drive will be held on July 9th at the Solid Waste Transfer Station on East Club Boulevard. It will be held from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. During the event, you can drop off unlimited tires, including tires with rims, for free. Keep Durham Beautiful and various city and county departments are co-hosting the event. Here's a reminder about how the upcoming 4th of July holiday will affect city services. Most city offices will be closed on Monday, July 4th. There will also be no solid waste, recycling, bulky item, or yard waste collection that day. Collection will be delayed by one business day for the rest of the week. For more information about these and other scheduled changes, contact Durham One Call at 919-560-1200 or visit the city's website. That does it for City Hall this week. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. You can also find us on demand on Drum Television Network's webpage and on YouTube. Thank you for joining us.